The two most manipulative emotions in the world are hurt and anger. Now, I want you all to think of some difficult people in your life. Under the category of hurt are our whiners. Do you have any whiners in your life? Oh, that's not fair. How can we end up doing that? No one ever tells me. No one ever asks me. I always have the... Blah, 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 blah. I had a mother bring her daughter to me. Mrs. Podesta, won't you counsel my daughter, Wendy? All she does is whine. Like, no kidding. <laughs> How could that have happened? Under our category of hurt are our sad people. Think of the people in your life every day. They're just sad. Just walk around sad. And when you say to a sad person, how are you? They go, oh, I'm better, I guess. But I'm so tired. I just don't know how much longer I can keep this pace up. I hope there's some light at the end of the tunnel, but I'm just so sad. Under the category of anger, how many of you have ever known some angry people? These are the people that are ticked off. How do they get their way? They yell, they scream, they slam doors, they say abusive things. And they're scary people. You know why? Because they have no boundaries. A lot of angry people have no boundaries, which means they will say things that you and I would never, ever say to another human being. So ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Difficult people are great actors. Because I'm going to tell you something. I can act really sad, or I can get ticked off at the drop of a hat, because I'm an actor. Every difficult person in your life, will you see them for what they are? Don't take it personally. It isn't about you. They treat their spouse this way. If we found their first grade teacher, she would shudder in fright at the mention of their name. Difficult people have an act. And they either use hurt, whining, crying, to make you feel guilty so that you'll give in, or they use anger to make you afraid so that you will give in. Difficult people want one thing. They want their own way. And they are looking for people who are subject to not wanting to hurt anyone's feelings or not make anyone mad. So how do you deal with difficult people? Take a look at you. What do you avoid? If you can't stand hurting one's feelings, then you've got tons of people around you making you feel guilty all the time, and you're giving in, giving out, or giving up to keep that from happening. If you can't stand making anyone angry, then you've got tons of people in your life that all they got to do is raise their voice and get a little mad, and you back off. You and I have control of how other people treat us.